Have you ever wondered how grief affects your nervous system and brain and how it's possible to support your body, your physiology and your biochemistry in times of grief and to overcome trauma? Hi, I'm Trilby Johnson. I'm a breakthrough mentor, a metaphysical intuitive and a best-selling author. And what I love is helping people go beyond limitations into their wisdom. So I wanted to make a video about grief because in a recent video that I made where I was talking about the biochemical Schistler tissue salts, I had mentioned that by taking the appropriate tissue salts, I was able to move through grief with ease. And I actually had someone ask me the question to explain that more. So this is what this video is for. So to understand on a physiological and biochemical level, what happens when we go into trauma is that the brain is under tremendous pressure and it influence the amygdala which is the seat also of our emotional reactions and so when we have a adrenal surge which we do in fight flight or freeze then the body is absolutely flooded with an adrenaline and if this does not uh, subside over time then um, we get um, too much cortisol, too much and and adrenal fluid, and this can long term lead to PTSD, um, on unresolved grief, and uh, lots of lots of symptoms, lots of memory, just uh, anxiety, depression. It has a huge effect on the nervous system. So it's really important to ensure that your brain and the nervous system are getting sufficient minerals because when your body goes into alert mode, your body is under duress and so it requires more. Um, and a lot of people um, may find themselves stuck in stages of grief and unable to move forward and from what i've observed in myself and many clients is that this is due to a lack of the correct minerals which boost the nervous system in the correct way we also don't want to overtax the body and the metabolism which is already under stress so using the homeopathic blender tissue cells is such a great way because they bypass the digestive tract. They are uh, absorbed straight into the bloodstream. And because of the way that they are combined, um, they are ready for the body to use in exactly the dosage that the body would actually break them down to. So you can see that it's important to feed your emotions in the sense, give them the nutrients they need. I um, mean, of course, often when we're going through periods of shock or um, bereavement and loss, it affects our appetite, it affects our sleep pattern. So everything is thrown off. Um, and so making sure that your body has the correct biochemical nutrients it needs in the way that's easiest for the body can ease any emotional shock. So I hope you found this informative. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to leave them in the comments below and I'd be happy to answer them in another video or in the comments. Thank you. And if you'd like to find out more about my work, where I can help and facilitate you to move through trauma, anything that's keeping you in stress and struggling, then my website is breakthroughsavvy.com.
Thank you so much and take care. Bye.